Uh, managing challenges, yeah? Yeah, perfect. Yep, now I've got that now. Okay, brilliant. I'll do that. It'll be about 20 minutes. And That's fine, mate. Yeah, just drop a text. Let us know. I'm literally just uploading the other one to the site uh, to YouTube as we speak. So uh, yes, okay. I'll probably... the other one. Is it yeah, right? no, all seems to be. Yeah, no, got it. All seems to be working okay that time. So uh, yeah, I'll um, I'll share the link as soon as it's up, and I'll pop the other one around later on. Yeah. Who was the Melanie? I, I don't know who that was. She didn't. If it was the same, what I, I had a lady called Melanie uh, dial in on Wednesday evening, and that was a name a lady by the name of Melanie. Bartram, perhaps from Thrapston Town Council. She's one of the events people up there. Oh, okay. Because our audio um, didn't work. So, sorry, say again. I just kept saying that she's trying to connect her audio and it wasn't working. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no. She, if, if it's the same one, then it was. Um, yeah, Melanie from. Uh, I'm sure it was Thrapston Town Council. But, um, but check with Karen. Obviously, she took all the bookings to Eventbrite and stuff, so she'll have a list of everyone that was there. Yeah, but no one else came on, so that was fine though. Yeah, that's all good. Smaller groups you can get through a bit quicker. I don't mind it. Yeah, it's absolutely. All right, thanks, Ben. I'll record now and I'll text oh. you when it's done. All right. all right, then, cool. Cheers, Ruth. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Hello and welcome to today's webinar, which is all about managing challenges. I'm Ruth Rowan, I'm owner of Building Business Consultancy and the deliverer of the business support for Enterprising East or Fans. Um, just so for the next 20 minutes, we're just going to be talking through um, the challenges that we're all currently facing, and there's quite a few of those, and, and some hints and tips on how to manage them. First of all, when thinking about managing challenges, I've broken them down into three key life areas. Um, first of all, business challenges. And, um, you know, there's many more um, than just those on this list here. Um, the main challenges that we are seeing um, when we're speaking to our businesses are financial uh, resources. So it's getting hold of stock, um, products um, and things like that. There's the reduction, but also the increase in sales. So while some businesses have really struggled and there's been a big reduction in sales, what we've also seen is actually a real increase in some sales and businesses struggling to deal with the demand. So that's one area that we've been supporting businesses on and they've seen as a challenge. And there's also been stock issues. So making sure that stock is readily available, um, staffing, and um, ensuring and how to deal with staff. You know, we've had a lot of challenges over the last six months um, with regards to changes of the way people work, where they work, how they work, whether they are working. Um, so it's dealing with them. Um, technology, and again, lots of the systems, lots of businesses are looking at opportunities for digital, new routes to market, and really new ways of working overall. Um, but we've also, we're all facing, um, whether we're um, owners of businesses, employees, um, home challenges. And many of those are um, really affecting us both in our workplace and, and also at home. But, but really, we've got the issue of working from home. So, you know, as Boris says, if you can work from home, please do. So, and that's a struggle for, for people. And there's also been homeschooling. Luckily, the, during this lockdown, schools have stayed open. But we have seen an increase in school shutting for 14 days, year group shutting. Um, and so people have been faced with homeschooling. Um, the limited or no social interaction, I think that's been a massive for um, individuals and if you think about it a lot of people got the majority of their social interaction with other people during their working day and now that's suddenly changed and they're working from home that's having a real impact on people and also intense family time you know that brings challenges um, in itself and then we've got the personal challenges so what people are facing individually and that's the lack of me time um, I think that's really key a lot of people are facing and the downtime um, I think the, the risk of, of working from home a risk of, of having to deal with many challenges we're having to work harder and longer than we've ever had to work before um, comes with the fact that we're spending more time at home there isn't the the social interaction there isn't the, the going out the relaxation that's having a real impact 
on individuals and it's the luxuries isn't it that people are having to to stop and that might be because of, of money it could be of time it could have be due to access um, we've also got the health and fitness issue you know at the moment gyms are shut um, it's now dark isn't it very often if you think you've got staff working nine till five it's dark by the time they finish work um, it's it's pretty much dark um, they only get an hour or so in the morning and most of the time they've got other things to be doing then so when are they looking after their health and fitness and when are we as business owners looking after our health and fitness and so there's a real well-being um, thing there and I know a lot of businesses are really focusing on that and focusing on their staff as, and their staff well-being and we've also got the mental health there haven't we so we need to think very carefully and support individuals but also as business owners think about our own mental health um, because that's really, really key. So what I want to do now is to share some top tips on managing challenges, you know, because challenges aren't going to go away. They are going to happen. We're going to be faced with many different challenges every day um, now and in the future. But there are some things that we can do to try and manage those, those challenges. And there's just a couple of tips down here. So first of all, it's really about identifying um, what challenge you're facing. So addressing really that there is a challenge. Um, what we found is businesses that identify that there's an issue or a challenge are the ones who actually do okay. The ones that say, actually, there's nothing going on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut down or I'm going to stop doing this until I can do it the way I've always done it. That's not working. So it's really trying to think about what we can do um, to address that there is a challenge. We've also got the scale. So the scale, so the rate, the challenge you are facing and prioritise. You know, every day we wake up as business owners, if we work for an organisation, we've got challenges ahead, but it's about prioritising those. Some of those we don't need to think about, whereas some of those we really do need to think about, we need to address and we need to solve. Um, fourthly, you know, it's also thirdly, make time. So make time for yourself. So clear your mind to be ready to deal with the challenges that we face. I think that that's really, really important. You've got to, to clear your mind and think, right, this is a challenge ahead. How am I going to deal with it? Um, but also there, it's about accepting, isn't it? Sometimes that you may not be able to solve, our, um, solve everything. Some challenges may beat you. And that's really hard, especially when you don't like to get things wrong or you don't like to fail. But sometimes, you know, it will beat you. you will it will be a lesson learned. How can we improve? How can we learn and, and be better next time? So it's really, really thinking um, about that. We've also got information. You know, in the current climate, it's really essential to keep up to date with as much relevant information as possible. We're faced with challenges every day in relation to COVID-19. We've got Brexit coming up in the next few weeks, and there's going to be major challenges ahead um, for us to, to deal with that are going to impact us um, both professionally, personally, um, and we really need to think about that. So what are we doing um, about keeping in touch with and keeping up to date with the information that we need um, to know that we're just tasked with the tools and the information to actually deal with the challenges ahead. We've also got knowledge there as well. And I think, you know, it's very much linked to information, but use your time to increase your knowledge, but also encourage your staff to use their time to increase their knowledge as well. There's never been a better time. There's so much information and training available freely online. Um, I was only talking to a business the other day. And um, one of their members of staff is, is sorting out all the accounts. And there's Sage online courses that would cost £100 a piece that are currently free. And, you know, if their staff have got the time to be able to, to access those and deal with those, I think, and, and to attend those courses, the impact on the person is positive because it's their personal and professional development. But also the long term impact on the business is brilliant because, you know, they're tasked with new skills, new knowledge it's actually going to benefit the business in the future. So encourage your staff to do that. Encourage yourself to do that when you can. I think that that's really, really key. Um, and then lastly on here, it's about action. Um, for me, it's really important. Respond to the challenges. Never ignore. Like we've said, scale it. You know, accept sometimes that you won't you won't beat it and you won't be able to um, sort it out, but never, ever ignore, you know, identify that there is a challenge and respond to that. Whether it is you have to admit defeat, whether you can ignore it or whether you actually need to do something about it. So that's really, really important. So our seven top tips there are about identify, scale, make time, accept, 
you know, gather the information and keep up to date with all the information and, and, and increase your knowledge, in, increase the information that you know about, your staff know about, your skills, um, and then finally action. So just make sure that you respond to the challenge and never ignore it. But I think the thing that I want to leave you with here is, you know, obviously challenge we're faced with every single day and there's lots of different ways to deal with it. But through challenge, we do grow. And I think this is really, really key. And here, um, you know, at Building Business, we've got a five hours model in response to managing challenges. Um, you can see here it's recognize, review, research, respond and recover. And these five key areas are crucial to dealing with challenges, but also really in the opportunity to actually acknowledge that change, deal with it and to grow from that, which is really, really important. So firstly, it's about recognizing the issue or the problem, the challenge that you are facing um, as an organization or the challenges. There'll be many challenges um, all at once or one at a time. Some will be bigger, some will be smaller, but it's identifying the issue or the problem. It's then about reviewing it, isn't it? It says take time out to review the situation, to get all the information, build up a full picture of the challenge that you're facing before you react. I think that that's really, really key. It's about reviewing um, the situation and, and getting all the information that you need. Thirdly, it's about research. And, and sometimes you won't have time for this. And, and we do say to businesses, not all the time will you have time or you'll need to research to deal with a challenge. But like I said, you may not always um, go through this process, but dependent on your challenge, you may have time to research, getting all the knowledge needed to respond to the challenge you face. And I think that's really key. And I think, like we've said, there's never been a better time. All that information is at our fingertips. And so we can use that information to our advantage and really, really get the research, the knowledge, the skills, if we need to pull them in from outside or pull them in from our staff to really deal with challenges um, ahead. So whilst we might not always look at research, I think it's really key in response to challenges. And fourthly, it's about responding, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit like action, you know, when we, when we said before, it is wherever possible, we need a solution and a positive response to dealing um, with an issue or a problem or a challenge. And, and sometimes a challenge isn't negative, it is positive, um, but we need to ensure that we can deal with that positive challenge to the benefit of us and the business in the long term. And then lastly, it's about recover. And, and I think this is really important. And as businesses, um, we don't give ourselves time sometimes to recover. And I think that that's really crucial and really key. So dependent on the scale, the importance, the impact of the challenge, you need to give yourself, your business, time to heal, mend, recover, um, and, and to deal with that challenge and that process that you've gone through and the business has gone through um, so that you can grow and you can be better in the future. So this is what I wanted to leave you with, you know, the, the, the five R's on managing challenge of recognize, review, research, respond and recover. So hopefully that was just a quick, a, a quick um, webinar on some top tips on managing challenges. Thank you for your time. Um, please do come and speak to us. There's lots of great services available through the Enterprising East North Ants programme. Our details are there, but there'll also be other details um, on how you can contact the programme. Um, there's free FSB membership. Um, there is um, workshops and further information available. So please do come and talk to us. I really want to hear about your business what you're doing, how you're getting on, some of the challenges that you've faced or facing and how you've dealt with them. And if you've got any top tips that you can share with others. So thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.